Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, put an ad in this episode. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. One, it's free. There's a creation tool that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And I've I've tried it, and it's the e- really easy to do. It's not as complicated or as difficult as you would think it would be. Anchor will distribute your podcast for for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and many more. Download the free Anchor app or go to your anchor.fm to get started. Hi guys, my name is Dorsey Ross, and I welcome you to my podcast. I would like to share my story with you today, and I would like to make this podcast something that is inspirational, something that is encouraging, something that will help others to be encouraged about what they are facing and what they are going through in their life and in their daily activities and help them to know that with faith and with God in their lives that they can overcome the difficulties and overcome the struggles in their life that they are facing and that they are having to overcome on a daily basis. And I hope that this podcast is something that they will be encouraged by and be inspired to, you know, to deal with. I hope to be able to interview others that have disabilities, others that have had to overcome difficulties and overcome struggles in their life. And now they are, you know... Go, they, they have now overcome those struggles and that they can tell others how they have been able to overcome those struggles as well. So my story is the fact that I was born on January 16th, 1977 with a birth defect called Aplet Syndrome, which is a birth defect of the hands and the face, and I was born, my forehead was pushed out with my eyes, and those were pushed back on my head, and my fingers and toes were fused together, I mean, I had no individual movement of them, so when I was born, my forehead was pushed out with my eyes and nose were pushed back into my head and my fingers and toes were fused together. I mean, I had no individual movement of them. And we would like to see some pictures and see some of what I have come, had to overcome in my life in pictures. You can follow me on my Instagram page, which is just at Dorsey.Ross, or you can visit me on my website at DorseyRoss.com, or follow me on Facebook. But after I was born and after my parents saw and were told what I would have to overcome in my life, they were also told that because I had no skull opening and no skull spot that I would have to be put into a institution because I would eventually become brain dead and I wouldn't survive and I wouldn't make it in this life. But thankfully my parents said no, we will not put him into a institution, we're not going to put him away. We're not going to sign 
the papers, we will take him home and see what God will do with him in his life. And at six weeks of age, I had my first of many operations to open the skull and to allow my brain to grow and allow my brain to function normally. And after that, I had to go through a lot of operations to reconstruct my face and to separate my fingers because I had no individual movement of them. And at five years old, my parents were told <coughs> that I would be brain dead, saw me into the Henry Fitzgerald School for people with disabilities. But growing up was not easy <coughs> for me. <coughs> growing up was not easy for me. I would have to overcome a lot of obstacles. I would have to overcome a lot of difficulties in my life. One of them being the fact that I would get made fun of, I would get picked on, I would get called monster and freak because of the way that I looked and the way that I, <coughs> the way that my fingers were. I didn't look, <coughs> I didn't look normal, I didn't look like everybody else. But thankfully, I always try to put my faith in God. I always try to have my faith trusting in him, in him and put my faith in him. And I always, at times, wonder, you know, why would a loving and caring God allow me to be, bo- to be born this way, why would he allow me to have to go through everything that I've had to face in my life? And one of the answers that I have had, I have had to come up with is, I don't know. I don't know exactly why God has allowed me to go through all the difficulties and all the situations that I've had to overcome. But I knew I do know that God has a plan <coughs> and a purpose for my life. I know that God has something greater in store for my life and he has something greater in store for your life as well. And that we just have to realize that regardless of what is happening today, regardless of what is going on today, that God has something greater in store for our lives. And as I got older, I started to attend the youth group. I started to attend the youth group at my church and I, I started to feel love and accepted at the youth group and started to feel a call, a call of God on my life to become a youth pastor. And as I got older, I started to realize that maybe that was what God had in store for my life was to become a youth pastor. And in August of 1996, I graduated high school and I entered the, I entered Queensboro Community College. But it took me a long time to do community college. It took me four years to be able to graduate and be able to go on to Bible college. 
and in August of 2000, I graduated, <coughs> I entered the University of Valley Forks. And it was still a hard time for me to, in Valley Falls as well, I didn't do well on certain tests, I didn't do well on, you know, essays and things of that nature. Even in high school, it, it was hard for me to learn and to understand and to grasp certain situations and certain topics or what was being explained to me. But I kept persevering, I kept being persistent in what it was that God had for me and what was what it was that God wanted me to do in my life. I could have given up a long time ago. I could have said, God, this isn't what I want to do. I want to do I want to do something else. I want to do something that may be a little easier for me, a little more, a little less stressful, stressful for me. But I always try to do things that were a little tougher. I try to do things a little harder for me to do, to put me to the test to see what it was that I could do. For the being for the thinking I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And I knew if it was something that God wanted me to do that he would give me the strength and the ability to do what it was that he wanted me to do. And it took me another five years to be able to finish Bible College, but on May 5th, 2005, I was able to cross the stage of the University of Valley Falls to receive my Bachelor's Arts degree in Youth Ministry. And in 2007, I started to travel around getting my story of what it was that God had done and is doing in my life. And there's, you know, a lot more that I can say, but I want to try to keep these podcasts, you know, to, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, maybe a little longer at times. But, you know, for the next podcast, I want to talk about being... Fearless. I want to talk about not fearing what it is that we are going through in our lives and what it is that we are dealing with in our lives. I believe that God has given me a word for the, for the years to not to be fearless. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition that we present our request to God and he will give us the peace and understanding to not to have that anxiety, not to have that fearfulness in our lives that we deal with and that we go through. So I hope you enjoy this podcast. I hope you come back next time for the next installment of Phyllis. God bless. Thank you.